Hey there viewers, Tanner here, and welcome, welcome to a video. So Craigslist is a pretty cool place, and there just so happen to be some people who have some stuff that they don't want, but I do. And that is how I came upon this box of glory. Let's just, uh, let's just take a minute to look at the box, first of all. Robert Norris... I would like to thank you kindly, sir, for keeping such a nice collection of old locks laying around in a farmhouse somewhere in Ohio. Because now, they're mine. On the front here, let's see if I can get this turned up. Oh, goodness gracious. Here we can see Herdlock, division of Avis, and then an address in Tennessee. It says 374 at the bottom here. I doubt that's a date, but that's the closest thing that I have to maybe knowing about what time period these locks are from, but I'm pretty stoked, and you guys should be too. Let's take a look at these individually. So I was totally bullshitting you when I said individually, because I'm going to put three out first. The reason I put these three out together is because these are all combo locks. We have this guy here, which is individual dials. However, once you go to zero, you aren't allowed to go the opposite direction. It's made by Corbin, and it's a sesame. I think it's pretty spiffy, honestly. But I don't have a feeler gauge at all. And I also don't think that I have a feeler gauge in existence that would be thin enough to get into these guys. However, I am definitely interested in trying to get into it, and it's just a matter of when. Really, it feels like a pretty solid lock. I just don't have the combo for it, so there's nothing I can do with it for now. Next, we have up two pretty basic bitch master combos. I have no idea what the combos on these are either. This master is actually kind of interesting. It's got a uh, sort of textured wheel here. But there's a lot of... There's not as much grime on this one as the other one. This guy here is just disgusting. You can see how hard it is to turn. It really just doesn't want to go. Yet again, don't have the combo for it. And there's quite a few different ways that you can feel out a combo lock by putting tension on the shackle and twisting. But... There's just no way to get any feedback out of these things because of how disgusting they are. Okay, this guy here is another master. It is a master 388. And you can see it's got a pretty weird keyway on it. And that's because this is a disc detainer lock, I believe. I tried fiddling with it a little bit and seeing if I could figure anything out, maybe towards picking it. And man... There's just nothing going on in there worth a damn. Not that I can find anyway. You can see here the keys are pretty disgusting as well. I have no idea how to pick disc detainers, and I tried to watch a video from Bosnia and Bill on it, and still couldn't really make heads or tails of the shit. That being said, the lock does work. If I can get the damn key in there. This is actually another lock. However, it does look identical to the master we just looked at, but this is sort of a no-name lock as far as I can tell. If you look at the ass end of it here, if it focus, that'd be delightful. All this has is made in Taiwan. 40 millimeter. Regular old pin and tumbler. Pretty grimy shackle. You can see it's got a decent bit of rust on the top of it there. So, next up in the gambit, we've got two cute little master number eights. Both with pretty badass little keys that have a really cool lion embossed on them. I've never seen this before. Appear to just be brass padlocks. No indication of when they were made or anything. But function just the same have some cool old tags on them for nostalgia factor and probably possible to pick but a little bit small pretty dinky little keyways there 
Might be able to cram something in there, though. It's a good way to look at things in life. If you don't think you'll fit, try it. So now we really get into the shit of this box. These two guys. Pretty disappointing. This is a Slaymaker Rustless. And it's leaving me restless. Because it's just a crappy little cast. God only knows what. Disc detainer lock. Full rotation on the key. Looks like the shackle doesn't even actually have any sort of locking paws. Just some sort of spring mechanism in there. Kind of a cool old lock though. And then there's this thing. Which I will never in my entire life be able to do anything with. Because, I mean, what the heck is this? This is not even a thing. So, some of you attentive viewers may have noticed something. That was quite pretty in that box at the beginning. And man, were you ever right. This guy came in the box. It's an American lock, series 20. YFJ, whatever the fuck that means. Pretty spiffy lock. Really nice spring tension on it. Nicely greased up shackle on it. Nothing gets me hotter than a greased up shackle. Really sturdy brass body on it. Just in general, a very nice lock. And when I say very nice, I also mean very terrifying because trying to get in this thing is going to be a bitch. But I can't wait. And last but not least, this. This thing did not come in the box with the other locks. That's why it wasn't in the box. But I recently bought a 1022, and with it came a lock for your shed. That way you can lock your gun in your shed and keep it nice and safe. This thing is a... I can't even really talk about what this thing is, because when you look down here, you're like, oh no, it's a disdetainer lock. Nope. Pin and tumbler. But it's got this nasty little shield right here on top of it that twists around so you can only put your key in one way if I could stay the fucking frame and man it's just not nice it does not want you to get a pick in there or a tension wrench or anything but we can try and fiddle with it who knows I might get lucky so here you can see the whole haul of Craigslist locks I got Guy had posted him for 20 bucks, and I told him 15 and he said, all right, meet me somewhere close, and it happened to be close for me as well. So, basically, I just jewed him into going for 15 bucks, which is cool. Especially for this guy right here. I'm very excited about this. Maybe someday. Oh, yeah, and this thing. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Stick around if you want to see me fail on these.